But there is peace after the storm because the sun is shining when the rain ends. You are in a moment of expansion, evolution, growth. You are getting ready to catapult into a new phase of your life, into a totally new timeline where you are growing into a version of yourself that you have never been before. Be patient with yourself. You learn as you go. You not have to know what that version of yourself is going to look like down the ro way down the road when you're just now taking the first steps you are building this new version of yourself be patient with yourself things are getting ready to turn up for you the first card here is the sun card the sun is about happiness and joy although you have been through a lot although you have been through a lot in your life a the inner child within you has been broken, has been beaten, has been abused, has been hurt, has been traumatized. You have lived in fear. You have lived in fight or flight. You have suffered from PTSD. You have dealt with a lot. But there is still another part of you that never lost that childlike wonder, that never lost that innocence, that never lost that purity to you that just looks at the world for how beautiful and amazing that it is. Another part of you saw how cold this world can be but another part of you still sees the innocence and beauty of this world the optimism of things will get better that childlike wonder is what they want you to tap into because things do get better yes you've had to go through a lot of things in your life but it was to grow you and expand you to know that the happiness exists within you all of the pain was to show you that this world is that this world is a cold world and that you are a pure rare gem here to create a new world as you lead by example as you live your lifestyle and your livelihood which is totally different than the previous way that the world has existed you will be bringing new new experiences new mindsets new opportunities newness into this world just by you being you just by you sharing your ideas with the world you are healing yourself each and every day and you are growing spiritually you are growing spiritually in a way where your soul had to go through all of that painful experiences so that your soul can grow and evolve really been through it there has been a lot that has come against you you've had moments where it was just so many attacks coming at you left and right multiple people you were outnumbered you had moments where you were ganged up on you had moments where there were multiple people coming at you at once they were sending a lot of intense negative energy towards you these people emotionally jumped you when we think of a person jumping you, we think like a physical jump where one person is being beaten physically by a group of people. This happened to you, but it was not physical. For some of you, it, it was physical. But for some of you, this wasn't physical. This was verbal. This was emotional. This was psychological. They were hurting your spirit. They were hurting your hearts. And it was multiple people coming at you at once that was maliciously and intentionally wanting to hurt your feelings. They wanted to see you hurt. They wanted to see you cry. They wanted to see you upset. They wanted to see you angry. They wanted to see you get out of character. But every single time you stayed calm. You may have had your moments where you reacted in a way or you responded in a way that they weren't expecting you to. But for the most part, for the most part, you stayed calm. And that's why they attacked you more because they wanted a reaction out of you. And when they were not getting one, they were desperate in their attempts to get one from you. You've dealt with a lot already. There was things in the back of your mind that you were already carrying, trauma that you had already been dealing with 
that you were holding on to your shoulders, excuse me, that you had dealt with from your past, that you had kind of pushed to the back of your mind. You know, so stuff like that, like when the way that they were treating you reminded you of that stuff, you kind of just disregarded. You didn't even want to deal with it and engage with it because you like this reminds me too much of the trauma from my past. No, I'm not trying to deal with that. But you are here to move mountains. All of those painful experiences that you went through gave you strength, gave you power. The more pain you had to endure, that's the more power that you have because you are here to alchemize all of that pain into power. Do not look at it as pain. Look at it as, OK, I'm going to use this as power as strength now you see the enemy wants you to focus on the pain but god wants you to focus on the power the enemy wants to keep you trapped and thinking of how much pain you are in and how much trauma you've endured but god wants you to focus on the lesson on the wisdom on the light on how you've overcome it you've overcome so much you are a spiritual leader you are a shaman you are a shaman. You are here to break curses, to change the way this world operates. You are the shaman. You are this warrior spirit that is here to lead the pack, to lead your tribe, to lead a community of people. You are here to leave a legacy behind for your children and your children's children. You carry a lot of heavy weight on your back. You carry a lot of responsibility. You carry a lot of You carry the weights of your bloodline. You carry you are the generational curse breaker. You carry all of the pain and trauma and experiences on your shoulders because you are the one that is here to break it it had to come through you all of that pain had to come through you it has to pass through you remember emotions are to pass through you energy is to pass through you not store it as like a container but pass through you like a strainer allow your energy to be allow energy to pass through you like a strainer okay people have also mocked you they have made fun of you. They made fun of Yahshua. They mocked Yahshua. They made, listen, you are like Yahshua. You are the chosen one. They mocked you. They made fun of you. The very thing that they made fun of you for is the very thing today that people praise you for. You see how the very gifts, the very things that make you you, the very things that make you unique, that will grow you into the version that you are to become, the version that you are meant to be. That's the things that people mocked about you because they wanted, that was the enemy. They wanted you to be insecure about that. They wanted to attack your confidence, destroy and kill your confidence on those very things so that you would not embrace them. The very things that people mocked are the things that you are to embrace. The very things that people mocked about you are the very things that you are to embrace. I'm saying this three times so you grill it in your mind, baby. The very things that people mocked you for are the very things that that you are to embrace so what if they mocked you look how strong and tall this person is standing be confident in it be confident in all of your gifts in every single aspect of your personality if anybody tries to make you feel insecure about anything you be confident in that the only way that do not allow people to steal your confidence do not allow people to project their insecurities onto you you are not here to hold the responsibilities and the weight of someone else's traumas you are not here to hold the weight of somebody else's pain and trauma and insecurities that they themselves have not dealt with it is not your pain to carry it is theirs to carry return to sender give it back to them your energy is not about to be thrown off because they do not know how to deal with their emotions you are not a okay, you are the matriarch of your family you are the woman in your family that is the strongest, the wisest, the most successful, the most grounded, um, the most helpful, the most loving, the most nurturing. You are like that leader of your family and you are the, the matriarch, you know, so this is for a feminine energy. So if this came across your, your page and you are a male, I'm sorry, this is not your reason. This is for the women, specifically the women. And not only are you the matriarch, you know, you're the matriarch now, but you will continue to be the matriarch as new generations come. You are like the queen 
of your family. You are the one that is building the queendom. You are the one that is the leader. When pe when they come to you when they need things, they come to you when they need help. They come to you. You are the matriarch. Okay, you are the matriarch. The energy that you have is very loving. It's very maternal. It's very. It's very nurturing. It's very. It's very kind. It's very calm. It's very gentle. It's that divine feminine energy that is so powerful so wonderful that your family needs that this world needs you are the one that holds your family together you are the one that sees things in a different way that other people do not see you are the one that you put in the work to achieve everything that you have Everything that you will have, that you will achieve, it's because you put in the work to do it. You do the inner work, you do the outer work. You are the epitome that you can achieve anything you want in this life. If you put in the work, God will meet you halfway. God met you halfway because you put in the work. Everything that you have, you've earned it. It wasn't given to you. You had to work for it. You are the prime example for others in your family that pe so many people look up to you so many people admire you so many people adore you so many people really respect you so many people have so much great honor for you because you don't even recognize how amazing you truly are you are a wonderful person you are an amazing person and sometimes you don't even realize how amazing you are and why people love you so much is because of who you are You've like been like the mom of the group, the mom of the friend group, the mom of this, like the mom of the group. But that's that's OK. That's the role you play because we all need that. Right. That's what you're there for. You nurture people's inner child. You nurture people's spirits. You're very comforting. You are a gift to this world because everyone you are gathering up all of your strength, all of your wisdom that you've acquired, all of your skills. And you are about to embark on this brand new journey of your life. You are getting ready to take a leap of faith. You are going to feel the fear and do it anyway. You are going to look fear in the face and say, you will not stop me anymore. You are going to turn that corner and you are going to take that leap of faith and you are going to go to where your next phase of your life is calling you towards. You've recognized that the pain that you have been through, all of the trauma that you have endured in your life, everything was for a purpose and that it was not in vain. You are getting yourself out of that energy. You are getting yourself out of being consumed by your pain. You are no longer going to sit there and wallow in the pain and the self-pity. You are going to get up, get out and turn that corner because you know that you are strong, because you know that you have the favor, because you know that you are anointed, because you know that you have the strength, because you know you are protected, because you know that God gives you the strength even when you don't feel like you have it. God feels fills up your cup. God gives you that peace. God gives you that nurture. God gives you that comfort. God is going to, God is here to calm in your nervous system, to nurture your nervous system, to bring you peace in your heart, to renew your mind. You are going to strip everything that you have had of yourself and say, God, just, I surrender. Not my will, let your will be done. I'm here to listen. I am obedient. I am disciplined. I am courageous. I am consistent. I am persistent. I am resilient. I am obedient. I am listening to what you have called me to do and I am going to do it without complaints. Without complaints, but with gratitude because I trust in you, Lord, that wherever you are calling me to be, I will be fine. I will no longer listen to my fears i'm going to listen to you more than i listen to my fears because you did not give me those thoughts of fear you did not give me the spirit of fear you give me the spirit of faith so those thoughts of fear do not come from you but they come from the enemy you may have things coming against you as you are moving into this next phase new levels new devils but you realize that you are well equipped to handle Everything that comes after you. And as you embark on this journey, you may look back, but don't look back too long. Look back only to find the wisdom. But don't sit there and stay looking back. Just glance back, keep moving forward. 
as you move forward into this next phase of your life, you are going to run into, you are going to meet another soul that is going to help you, that is going to assist you. This person that you are going to meet and run into is going to be divinely orchestrated. This person is going to help assist you in this next phase of your life. They're going to give you what you need. You are going to feel a soul connection and bond with this person. But I want for you to be open because this is not guaranteed that this is going to be a romantic connection. This does not even feel like a romantic connection. This feels more like a family is the first thing I heard. A family connection. This is going to feel like a family family bond dynamic that you will have with this person and be open to it this could be paternal this could be maternal this could be sisterly brotherly but this is going to be someone that's going to love you like family and help assist you because they genuinely want to see you succeed they see that you need a little bit of help and resources they see that you have a good heart and they see that you have a mission and that they want to help you because they have the resources to help you this is exactly why god has brought you two together because this person is helping you but you are also helping them in a way you he, you both are here to give to each other something that you both need it's divinely orchestrated this is a gift from the divine you are going to be on the search to find a deeper meaning of life, a deeper meaning of your life. You are going to be, I see you traveling. I see you just going to different places, really just finding yourself, finding yourself on a deeper level. And you're going to be exploring and searching for things that bring you fulfillment, searching for things that are going to give you experiences that really bring you joy, that fulfill your heart. And as you do this, your soul is going to grow you are going to expand and you are going to find a deeper meaning of yourself of life in general this is going to be a huge breakthrough moment for you because there's going to be a mindset shift you are going to view life from a much broader grander more wiser perspective than how you view life now as you embark on this journey of self-discovery of soul expansion and as you embark on this journey, you will eventually run in to romance, to love. For some of you, this is a new person. For some of you, this is your divine counterpart. You two finally aligned so you can finally come together and union is here, union energy. But you had to put in the work and you had to embark on the journey. You first have to embark on your journey solo and independent before your divine counterpart can come back into your life okay think of it like the wizard of oz wizard of oz started out with just herself and her dog it's like the fool's journey it's like when you see the fool card there's always a dog it's the same way she took a leap of faith it was just her by herself but as she went on she eventually met the people that were there to assist her you have to start off on this journey solo until you can find them because you have to be whole on your own and you two will add to each other love is definitely on its way to you when you show up for your life for yourself then love is going to show up, but you have to show up first. You two will work together. There's going to be in a joint effort of you two working together to build something, to create something, to establish something. You two will work together to help each other, to assist each other. Where one of you lacks, the other one will excel and vice versa. Two is better than one. You are not meant to be fully by yourself the entire time of your life. There is a divine counterpart that is divinely orchestrated for you to be with because there is a mission that you two have to fulfill for God's kingdom. And no man, no devil in hell, no man on earth can stop this. Things may try to come after you that have tried to stop it, but no one can stop it because this is 
divinely orchestrated this is ordained yes you are going to have the devil trying to come in between this trying to stir up conflict but remember that when this conflict tries to arise that you are this warrior you are this warrior and that everything that comes against you you know that you are able to fight it off spiritually remember we do not fight against the flesh we fight against principalities in higher places we fight against the spirit you have to fight in the spirit this is exactly why you have gone through so many spiritual attacks to spiritually equip you the spiritual warrior you fight harder in the spirit realm, it will manifest in the physical realm. They want you to fight them in the physical realm. No, don't fight them in the physical realm. Don't get phys don't get into no physical altercation. Don't even get into a screaming match with them, baby. It's not worth it. That's what they want. A verbal fight, physical fight is the same thing if you think about it. It's just different way of emotion on how you use it. But we don't need to do that. Fight them in the spirit. Kill them with kindness. Kill them with love. Kill them with prayer. You are truly this warrior and we have three warrior cards that came out in regular tarot this is the knight the knight of the knight of wands the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups first let's address the knight of pentacles you are this warrior that alchemizes all of your pain into power you see how the dog here is crying because of all of the pain that they have been through this represents you this represents you facing all of your traumas facing all of your fears facing all of your pain feeling the pain dealing with it accepting it healing from it and turning all of that pain into power you alchemize all of your pain into power because that gives you strength it gives you power and it gives you the wisdom to move forward in life the wisdom has shifted your mindset the experiences that you have went through have act, have honestly aged you, but not aged in a bad way where it's a physical representation, but you've aged spiritually, you've aged mentally, but you kept your youth. Beauty for your ashes. You look very youthful. You look younger. You look very young, but you know in your spirit you're a whole lot older because you've matured with experiences. You could be very young, but you have the spirit of somebody that is twice your age. You could be in your 20s and feel like you're in your 50s. You could be in your 30s and feel like you're in your 60s. And people even feel that energy from you. You feel like someone a whole lot older. Because of, the, because of what you've been through has aged you. It has really given you so much wisdom to a point where you feel like an elder. your emotions and your sensitivity is your superpower people told you your whole life you're being too sensitive you're too sensitive yes you are sensitive but you are supposed to be sensitive you're supposed to be sensitive and empathetic because that is going to help you to really see the emotion for what it is this is how you help change the world because many people want to throw their emotions on other people and just let it no you feel for people that are victimized. You feel for people that are abused. You feel for people that are bullied because you see how that affects you emotionally. You are here to make waves and make changes and let people know like, no, this is wrong. This is how this is making this person feel. Let's stop it to bring love back into this world because the masculine energy has had such a strong hold over this world that people are emotionless. People have lost their connection to their emotional sensitivity because they've lost that connection to their femininity that's why the divine feminine is on the rise